Uh, I'm so confident, man. I've got so much belief in the boys. You're right. Uh, <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Home and Away, you guessed it. Yep, we're back after a week off. We had a wee week off last week. Blair decided to go out and I'm not going to lie, I got absolutely steaming and there was no chance I was making the game the next day. So, it's so alright, we all have a break. But today, we're back and we're back better than ever. Tonight, she's a face you may know. A couple of faces you may know actually. Open goal, Broomhill, Cy Ferry. Kirk Broadfoot, Paul Slane, yep, you'll know who that is. We are here at Broadwood to see Open Goal Broom Hill and what an arena this is. I'm just pulling up just now, wait till you see it. Look the size of that place for a Lowland League team. I think it's a near 10,000 capacity. Clyde have obviously moved out of the stadium now and it's all Open Goal Broom Hills. What a opportunity this is for them to improve. You know the fan base of Open Goal podcast, but let me get inside and I'll tell you a little bit more. Liv McNally? Yeah. The best thing about getting press passes is the access you can get you do not get this access in the low leagues. Let's get out from the tunnel. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Just look at this. You wouldn't think this is a low league stadium, would you? Wow, look at this place. Right, so we're in the stadium now. This is the first time I've been in, I was going to call it Clyde Stadium, but it's not, it's not anymore. Clyde have been kicked out. This. It's Cumbernauld Colts Stadium and it's Open Goal Broomhill Stadium now and what a facility it is. First time in here, I did not think it was as big as this at all. I don't know why, I just didn't think it was this big. I will tell you something by the way, if one of the teams, Cumbernauld Colts or most likely Open Goal Broomhill, get money into their club, get up the leagues and become a proper outfit, this could be an outstanding place to come for a game of football. I mean, the pitch is brand new, as you can see. Brand new Astros been put in. Imagine this place packed out. Tonight, you're only going to get this stand here, most likely. The fact that there's this size of a modern facility with everything in it. I mean, I'm going to show you around in a minute and show you just what it has to offer. But the fact that it doesn't get utilised and get used for as big a crowd as a Thistle fan, to be able to have a stadium like this would be an absolute dream. Such a modern facility. This stadium is outstanding. It's got everything you need. Um, but yeah, I really do hope Home Gold Broom Hill can get up the leagues. I think the capacity is just under 10,000. And wow, I can imagine this place packed out. It would be some atmosphere. I'm excited for the future of Home Gold Broom Hill. I think the money's there. They've brought in new players, but can they get promotion? We'll speak a wee bit more about that in a minute. I'm going to try and get an interview. But as for now, I'm just sitting admiring this stadium. Clyde, obviously, the old tenants, they've been kicked out. Home goal, Broomhill have come in, and the future is looking bright. So, we're here with Frankie. Si, you're the Si Ferry, son? Aye. That's absolutely mad. So, what's it like having size or da? <laughs> Sometimes a bit. Uh, is it? <laughs> Keeps up with the patter, I take it in the house. Uh, so, what is it you do around the club, man? What does Sai have you doing? Just <laughs> Aye. Do you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Right, I'm going to ask you can they get promotion this season? Yeah. Not the best of season so far? Yeah. Went on a good streak of winning, but uh, went a bit downhill. But after this game today, they're going to be a bit of a winning streak. Yeah. Again. They're only seven points off a second, so they, they can still uh, do it. Still do it. What's the score going to be the night? What's the score going to be with you? Um, 4-2 Good you stuff going? I am going to go 1-0 one 1-0 one uh, Obviously Broomhill Has to be Good man Right, well here with the big man Si 
header tonight. You've obviously you're off the back of not the best results, are you? Yeah. How are you getting into tonight? Uh, I'm still confident, mate. I've got so much belief in the boys. You're right. Uh, results haven't been great. Um, played really well here last Friday. From I go again. You get hung up on results. Performances haven't been that bad. Tuesday against Rangers, were, Rangers are better team. Really good Rangers. I think I had four or five players out with a 17 year old playing middle pitch. So you need to take these things into consideration. But here at Broadwood, majority of the games are played really well. So I'll be expecting to another good performance for the boys. Sorry, si, it's my first time here. And what a facility this Brilliant, is. Man. The future is looking bright. It's great, mate. This is, this is, my, first, this is my first pick when, uh, when I heard that we were going to be taking our football team. I said, I'm going to take it. I want to play at Broadwood. Like you can see why, mate. You've not just out here, but if you see inside of the dressing rooms and people that work here as well it's just a top class setup, so there's no excuses when we come out to show on a pitch like this you've got a brand new pitch as well you're only seven points off second oh, I don't know so. I'm trying to look at stuff like that mate. <laughs> we've been just concentrating on our performance mate mm -hmm. if the performance has come then results will come so um, it's only November still I'm oh, sorry it's just come December uh, there's still a long way to go so try and not get too hung up on league positions in December we all know you for your podcast how's, how's up and goal going then it's good mate it's good it's, uh, it's a lot of work I know the graph, I know it's, it's, uh, it's, it's graph, a graph, mate, doesn't it? People, people, don't, people don't see the background stuff, do they? No, I think you just turn up and <laughs> talk shite for an hour and go up the road. But no, 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 but again, I know how lucky I am to be doing what I'm doing. I've done other jobs, I've said that before in the past. My mates have got jobs that they didn't particularly enjoy doing, so I love what I'm doing. Today. Although it can get a bit hectic and you can, I can get on top of you a wee bit at times, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, I understand how lucky I am to be doing what I'm doing. Sorry, all the best. Thank you very much. Top man, cheers, mate. Thank you. See the guys over here shooting the documentary. If you've not already, go and check out the Broomhill documentary. Right, we're here with a legend, a Scottish footballer. Get your teeth in. <laughs> Derek, how are we? How are we enjoying Broomhill? Good, good talk. Um, good start to the campaign and then we thought we'd up, so hoping to get back to one of these, I think. Aye. Uh, how are we feeling? Good personally, or? Personally. Uh, personally good, mate. Uh, I haven't really been playing much because the boys, uh, obviously, it's been showing you up. The boys, uh, they're showing me up for fitness, so. Uh, I'm on the bench tonight, maybe get a couple of minutes tonight, see what happens. Uh, can I just say I absolutely hate you because you've ruined my life as a party person fan so many times. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I started as well, party. That was uh, where, where I started, so we saw spot for party. <laughs> but uh, I'll never remember. See that cup final, man? <laughs> don't ever, don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> that was a one off, mate. One off. <laughs> but uh, aye, so how are we feeling this season now? Good, it's been good. The boys have come in and, and done really well. Obviously, you're going to have blocks and, and wee bumps in the road with a, a new team together. Um, we've had that. We've had, we had a block before. We came back and went nine in the bounce. One, so we're, we're hoping to get this wee block and go on a run again. Good pack of players. I know you've got some good quality and the good experience as well. Really good. Really boys that could go at a higher level, no doubt. Um, as I say, just some bad luck ways and injuries. And that, that's no excuse. Everybody gets injuries, but I no doubt the boys will bounce back. You've played in other leagues, right? What is this, by the way? This is one of the best. We, we, we played, we trained here with Queen of the South and then me and Sai played here with uh, Peter Head and this is one of the reasons why I went to it. We always played well, we always played here. Mm -hmm. The football on the front foot and all that and uh, this is one of the reasons we, we, we came in. Yes, Slavy, carrying the boots. That's what he's good for, that kind of that. Ready? Ready? Go! Go! Kick it! Go! Pass it! Hey! That's a touch ready! And again! <laughs> Young baller! And again quickly! Go! Oh! Didn't catch it in camera but the wee man just get megged. <laughs> the wee man just get... Ah you just get megged. Don't deny it! Don't deny it! You did get megged! Uh. So, we've had the interviews. We've spoke to the people. I'm going to go up and speak to the fans see what they think before we get into the action. But before we get into the action, give you a wee bit of a preview. So, as you've already heard, Open Goal Brown Hill, eh, they're not doing the best at the moment. They can beat 5-2 in midweek and they lost a last minute goal in the Scottish Cup 
here last Friday to Alawa. So, morale's not the best at the moment, but a win tonight will kickstart them again. They're only seven points off a second, so the season is well and truly alive for them. Tonight, they face several silver strollers. Uh, don't know too much about them, but we will find out in about 15 minutes. So, let's go up and see what the fans are saying, <coughs> and let's get into the game. Went to go and find the toilet, and I found a rave. Right, now what we're here for, the match to experience as a fan. Let's go. So, we're here, what's the score going to be? 5-6? Oh, that'll be some score line. 5-6, you'll get all the money for this YouTube video, right? What's the score going to be? 3-2. Oh, you thought about that one there, didn't you? 3-2. Right, we're well, here with the Broomhill Mad Squad, the Ultras. Yes! <laughs> right, you've wanted to get the top one, let me see that top. What's the score going to be? 3-1 Broomhill. Aye. Come on, Broomhill! <laughs> 3-1 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 What's the score going to be? Good man 3-1 yeah. Boys, boys, before I get a pie, what's, what's the pie like? Are the pies good? Aye, very Are they? Mom, good stuff Get it Bajan, get it Bajan There we go I'm looking forward to this game tonight, it should be an absolute cracker But Fair play to the boys, he's have chosen, he's have chosen all the padded seats and he's the comfy seat. Yeah. <laughs> Just atmosphere going to be wrong tonight. Aye. 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 Good stuff. Get it by John. Oh, got a late show. Where do you see this? At a lone big stadium. Lights out. <laughs> Whoa, Look at this light show. No way. Why am I seeing a light show at a lone big club? And why is it so class? <laughs> Imagine this place packed out, sold out, and this light show on. This has got so much potential. Players are out. It's so mad that there's a light show. <laughs> That's mad. I'm looking forward to this game. Speak to the players before the game. Gary Fraser, Derek Lyle, saying it should be an absolute cracker. Two very similar teams, but I think Broomhill will just edge it. Let's go for kickoff. Remember the mad squad tonight. <laughs> Ferry. <laughs> Sitting this Gary Fraser. Gary Fraser. Oh. Brought back memories for that street. Come on. Chance to make it one now. Ha, ha, ha. 
Pressure now. Sobram Hill, Sobram Hill, she's a goal. Oh, what a save! How did you save that? Oh my. Oh! No goal. Too busy celebrating. Spurring the team on. Oh. 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 Off the bar the second time. Five minutes to go. To half time. And they've just missed a sipper to make it two. Half time, one now, open goal from Hill. Right, we've got the Ambrew and we've got the Scotch Pie. I'm going to give it a wee review and I will let you know at the end of the game how the Scotch Pie feels. A wee bit of zombie racing at half time, you'll love to see it. This pie. Oh my god. I will let you know at the end of the video, but wow. I'm getting a wee bit of nostalgia for the taste. Find out why at the end. He loves it. He loves Edinburgh. He loves Edinburgh. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiled. There he is, Honestly. Mr. Number One in the UK. I do try Go on, Aaron lad. Right, we're here with Mr. Moza. How are we doing? Moza, please. I'll put the link in the bio. It's a fun. pleasure to have you on. Hi. So, speak to us. What do you do with Brown Hill? Because obviously you're involved. You were the one that got me in for the press pass. So, listen, thank you very much. I appreciate no, it. Well, and well, it's been well. an absolute pleasure. But speak to us about what you do around the club. So, did they ever? Uh, just, you know, whatever's needed for Twitter now and again to uh, generally promote us, talking about us in different places and, you know, like yourselves, speaking to anyone who's come along. Yeah. So, just wherever I'm needed, the media side or on the, you know, donation side, I jump in. How's it been this season? Really good. I think really good. Uh, quite different, obviously, with Open Goal. Yeah. You know, on, on board. Because you used to, you, you obviously, you'd done Broomhill before it was Open Goal. Aye. Uh, so back, uh, back when it was BSC Glasgow, when yeah. we... Like folk would have seen us playing Hampson in the telly. Aye, uh, kind of the main thing we did, but um, still the same club, just changed days. <laughs> Has it been an improvement for you? You can see that this is some facility, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's absolutely mad. Like, I was always good for us, but it's night and day being abroad with day and getting bigger crowds and playing on a Friday night. It's, uh, it's gone well. It is. Yeah. And how do you think we're doing the night? If we hold on to the win, well, but. Um, well, we missed a couple of opportunities, didn't they? Hit the bar uh, twice. Had a couple of really big chances for both teams. Obviously, it's going to pain, but we need a win because we've been in a pretty bad run recently. So, we've got four or five losses in the spin, so we badly need three points. But I was speaking to Zaya earlier on, I said seven points between Brunhill and second. So, it's, it's, not, it's not exactly it's away from you. No, not at all. I mean, we were right at the top of the pack before our bad run, so yeah. that, it feels like four or five teams have had a run with that. So, yeah, we just need be the teams around us and hope for the best and come top of the pile if we can. Mm -hmm. What's the score going to be? I'll take, give us two now because I'll, I'll not be comfortable with one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Moza. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I've just missed a goal. One each. Civil service dollars. Some finish to be fair. On the break, on the break, on the break. Oh, big, big chance for civil service. Still one each. End to end at the moment. I was going to say, it might be a... Oh! Goal! Ten minutes to go. Massive goal. Well, it's going now. Happy with that one. Happy very happy, one. very happy. Big, big goal. We did that big time. Big, big goal. Go on. Oh, oh. Yeah! 
Ich tunke! Ich tunke! Shit, Mann! Go on! Game over! 3-1 Brumhau! What did you tell me? You told me 3-1! What's the score? Good man! <laughs> Brumhill looking a bit rocky there but they've got their goal and they've got a second goal and now it's game over what a finish that was go on, go on 4 4 Predictions over. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't game over already, it's definitely game over now. The last 10 minutes, Broomhill have just become a different force. Moser's loving it. Loving it. <laughs> oh! Oh! What a save. Gary Fraser nearly with a screamer. Come on, Gary. Two in a row. Oh, Gary, I know you'll be watching this. And I'll tell you something. You need to improve that shooting, big man. <laughs> there we go, full time. And what a performance it's been. Open goal, Broomhill, four. Several several strollers one. And a wee bit of yes sir, I can boogie to finish it off. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I will see you back at the house for a full match day review of the Open Goal Broomhill match day experience. I'm a back Open Goal Broomhill. It was my first time and it definitely won't be my last. It was an absolute pleasure to meet everybody that was involved with the club. What a great club. Um, and yeah, I'm very impressed. And all in all, it was a great night. 4 one one for Open Goal Broomhill. There is a definite future for Open Goal Broomhill and Scottish football. Couple of promotions, and listen, it's there for the taking, definitely. But as for tonight, it was a great performance. 4 1, finished out in the end. They got the win and they got themselves back on track. As you can see, I'm not in my usual clobber, I'm in my work clothes. So I went straight from work to the football. People don't know the hassle. Thank you, everybody that was involved with Broomhill tonight. Great club, great people involved. And you were unbelievable with me tonight. The facilities, the hospitality you gave me was second to none. And I will definitely be back towards the end of the season to see how you're getting on. But you know how we do. I'm going to be reviewing the Open Goal Broomhill match day experience. Let's go. First of all, we have football. So in all honesty, it wasn't a 4-1 game. It was very dry at points. Um, and Open Goal Broomhill pro probably were the better team, to be honest with you. Um... And they ended up running away with it in the final 10 minutes. But yeah, I wouldn't say it was a 4-1 game. I think it was very even. But it wasn't the best of games. Football, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. In terms of price, so today I actually got a press pass into the game. So unfortunately, I didn't give any money to the club. Terrible for me, on it? But uh, it was actually £9 for entry tonight. Friday night football, you can get drink at the stadium. Uh, Ex-Premiership players on show. £9, I'm giving it a 10. Easy Ozzy. Under £10, £9 to get into that game tonight. Unbelievable value. For atmosphere, the young team in attendance were excellent. Shout out to Blueville Community Club. You guys were a credit to yourself tonight. Every single person that I met, unbelievable. And the work you're doing to help the young boys. The smells I've seen on some of the young boys' faces tonight, that can't be bought. There's nothing that can replace that. And Broomhill, for letting the, that youth club in tonight, it just shows what a community club you actually are. Some clubs, you know, they don't like after the community, but Broomhill definitely isn't one of them. And I've seen that tonight. Everybody involved with Broomhill, you were a credit to yourself as well. But, yeah, back on to the atmosphere before I get myself carried away in my emotions. Uh, could have a wee ultras group, I think. Tonight lacked a wee ultras group, something to lift the place a bit. The boys, don't get me wrong, they were brilliant, but they needed a wee drum. They were banging the seats and everything, banging the back, trying to make a bit of noise. But yeah, Broomhill, sort it out, get a wee ultras group going, 
get the boys back in for Blueville Community Club. They loved it. They loved it tonight, and I'm definitely sure they would be back. I absolutely loved the light show. I felt I was at Celtic Park watching a Europa League game, mind you, with the light show, but to see a light show in a stadium, a Lowland League game is just nuts, man. It's crazy. But, yeah, all in all, atmosphere, it was quite quiet. Um, all, all we really had was the boys trying to make an atmosphere. Apart from that, nothing much. So I'm going to give atmosphere a 6.5 out of 10. In terms of food, this is where it gets tasty. Literally. Wow. What a bit of nostalgia I had tasting this pie. As soon as I tasted it, Partick Thistle in the old days. This was 100% a McGee's pie. Thistle don't do any McGee's pies anymore. They've moved on to pie sports. But I can tell you right now, if I'm wrong, open go Broomhill. Drop it in the comments down below. But I know I'm not. This was a McGee's pie and it was unbelievable. Proper crispy round the outside, stuffed with meat in the middle. Oh, unbelievable. Perfect. 10 out of 10 for food. Facilities. So, this is where it gets interesting. This stadium is fit for Premiership capacity. It's fit for purpose for a Premiership team. For a Lowland League team, obviously it used to be Clyde's, um, but Clyde got popped up. We'll not speak about that. Uh, yeah, great stadium. The fact that it's got all the facilities fit for a Premiership club it just needs Broomhill to move up the leagues. Can they do a Salford City? We'll wait and see. I hope so, because everything's set in place for it. The facilities, easily a 10 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on this one. It has been an absolute pleasure to be back. Apologies for not being back last week, but the drink won, unfortunately. Uh, that will not happen again in the near future, because I'm staying off it, and I'm going to be giving you good videos. Not just good videos, great videos. I've got some unbelievable ideas for December. So stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe, like, you know what the score is. Until then, say goodbye from me.